Hello, my dear gardening friends. Today in this video, we are going to talk about winter spraying our roses with dormant horticultural oil. Let me tell you, when time is tough, our gardens is one of the wonderful gift to us, where we can restore our souls and get energy to persevere whatever is needed to be done in our lives. But today we are going to talk about spraying our roses with dormant horticultural oils. So what are uh, dormant horticultural oils? Well, these are highly refined petroleum uh, substances, which are well refined and then mixed with um, emulsifier uh, to make sure that uh, this oil will stick to the surfaces where it is sprayed. Now, because uh, the scientists managed to uh, make this oil so pure and so refined up to uh, from 92 to 99 percent these oils are pure uh, because of that we can use those uh, oils now in summer too but in much smaller uh, substances you know the ratio of water towards oil would be much smaller before when these oils were not as refined they were used only in winter and uh, now I am using these oils in my garden for several years already. I remember when I was uh, looking at the internet, lo listening to different people and uh, different opinions about these oils. Some people say that they are not working, so it's up to you to uh, test on your garden and see if they are working in your garden. But I remember I uh, decided to spray the dormant oil on my apple tree because our apple tree is not really sprayed with anything. So whatever nature gives us, we take. Whatever apples are there that year, we just take it and we say hello to the little wormies in uh, our apples. So one year I decided to spray it with dormant oils. And that year we had the biggest harvest ever, I'm telling you. So I said to myself, oh gosh, if these oils can do such a major difference on my apple tree, I'm going to spray my roses too with this uh, dormant oil and I can't say that because of this spray in winter I don't have a lot of aphids but the fact is I don't have a lot of aphids in my garden and this oil targets those aphids and other pests and diseases on roses. So what's the difference between dormant oil and summer oils like neem oils? Well all is in the, the amount of um, mixing proportions. In winter the mixing proportions are heavier and in summer they are lighter. I like to do it in winter because you know no insects are flying around, uh, no uh, bees are flying around so uh, uh, oils uh, also I like to do it because oils are very good alternative to more heavy toxic spraying which needs to be done on all those pests and diseases on our roses. I don't do those. That's why I'm using these um, dormant oils on my roses. And uh, what they do, dormant oils, they coat the surface of, of uh, all the stems and as you know uh, aphid um, eggs and uh, black spot and mildew it all overwinters on the canes of roses. Uh, and some of it in the ground around roses, on leaves. So when we spray these oils, we try to coat it every surface with it. Uh, all those mite eggs and all pests and diseases are killed, they are suffocated, and uh, as a result, we don't have so many sprays to do during summer or some to do and fight those diseases during the growing season. Uh, this year, I ran into a problem with spraying um, my roses. I'm looking for the window where uh, there is at least 24, not 24, 48 hours of no rain and temperature uh, above 40 degrees. And um, I cannot find that window. For example, in next several days, we are going to have 48 hours over 40 degrees, but we are going to have rain. And the uh, rain is not really working well with these oils. These oils have to dry. So I'm still waiting. So in this video, I'm not showing you how I'm doing it. I'm just showing you what I have. Um, here I have this uh, pump sprayer. It's fairly not expensive investment for the beginner gardener. I paid probably under $20 for it at Home Depot. By the way, I priced it online and it used to be more expensive online. So if you have uh, 
home improvement store, I would advise you to go there and uh, see this uh, pump spray there. They are available on, uh, in the big stores. This one is one gallon size, four liters, and uh, it works for me. It works for a medium small garden where I don't have huge amount of roses. But for those people who are having a lot of roses, and this is a pump sprayer, so I have to bend and pump it regularly. It can be quite a nuisance, but I don't have a lot, a lot of roses. But for those folks who have a bigger garden and they need to spray more uh, bushes, I would recommend something uh, like a backpack where the spray you carry your sprayer um, around you. There are plenty of options in the store and you can go and see. There are even smaller um, containers than this. I think, I believe this is the sec second biggest. They do even have smaller and they have bigger. So it's up to the gardener what, which size fits them better. Now when you look at, this is the uh, All Seasons Horticultural and Dormant Spray Oil. Again, the difference is dormant between dormant and not dormant oil, meaning summer oil, is just the amount you use on your plants and the amount you mix with water. When you look at the back, you will see here, I open the back, and you will see here at the back, for flowering and foliage plants, including roses and other flowering shrubs. And when you look at pests, aphids are the first ones. Then, uh, oh gosh, mites, uh, honey locust plant bugs, lace bugs, as they go all the way through to black spot and powdery mildew, which is my thing. Uh, I don't have powdery mildew so much, but I have black spot and I, I have aphids. So these two things are taken care more or less by dormant spraying. And it shows you that winter dormant period, you use from five to 7.5 uh, tablespoons of oil per one gallon of water. And in summer, the amount is much smaller from two to five tablespoons of oil per gallon of water. Now in summer, you can do it on leaves, open leaves already, but in winter, you have to find a time before leaves starts to open because this oil in higher concentrations they can burn the leaves especially those tender young leaves on our bushes which are just leafing out so you have to find that time of 48 hours of 40 degrees temperature and no rain where you can do this successful application i hope for the next two weeks i still will have before my roses starts leafing out uh, my rose has another two weeks of dormancy, I didn't trim it yet, that I will be able to find that window and I will spray all my roses. Now there is also a sticky situation in the garden where gardeners try to mix their roses with other plants and they want to spray roses with the horticultural oils. Some other plants are susceptible, some other plants are, have bad reaction to these oils. And here's a list of all the plants. I have a situation in my garden where I have a Japanese holly uh, neighboring my beautiful rose. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to protect my Japanese holly with some sort of sheet, not to spray it with uh, this oil when I address uh, the black spot on my, um, on my rose near it. So keep that in mind that if you have mixed planting in your garden, when you have roses growing, my annual shrubs, perennials, Keep that in mind that some plants are not going to be happy if you spray these oils on them. And you, what you can do, you just, just test it somewhere on that plant and see if a plant has discoloration or different color, if there is a bad reaction to that, um, to that spraying. Uh, otherwise, I consider these oils to be very uh, fast acting they dry up very fast, so after, you know, after the time they dry, they are not harmful to anybody. They are very low toxic to humans, to pests, and they are a great alternative to use in the garden to all those heavy things people use on their roses. I just, took, uh, I just went to the local library and I just took this disc, uh, How to Take Care of the Roses, uh, by Older Rosarian. And I said to myself, okay, gosh, I, didn't, I don't know about this guy. Let me see what he has to say about taking care of the diseases of roses. I listened to him and he literally was offering 40 pro products, what to do with your roses and how to spray them in the garden. And I said to myself, oh gosh, I'm not going to use, how can I use those almost 40 different mixing procedures just to keep my rose alive? 
I'm not going to do that. And I think this um, winter spray in my garden works very well for roses. Again, we have different um, climates where we garden and different things works for different gardeners. And my advice for beginner rosarians would be, first look what other people are doing and then see what works in your garden and what works for you because we garden in such different conditions. So I hope you found this uh, video helpful. Enjoy your gardens. Beautiful spring is coming. Uh, it's, a, it's just a joy to see garden slowly waking up to, to warmer sun and beautiful breezes. So I will see you next time. Happy gardening.